Right everyone, so it's the first time I'm picking these up today. I, at the moment, feel like crap. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think there is just something going round. I know Katie thought it was something on the plane, everyone at work's been sick. Um, it could be the play, the, it could be the thing that Katie said she's seen on the plane to do with altitude. But yeah, we're both currently feeling a bit worse for wear. So this video is probably going to be quite short, and it, the fact that I've picked you up a bit later. It's just since getting back, it's just been sorting a lot of stuff out. One thing I do want to quickly go over, because the camera was dying on Katie yesterday, is the picky bits that she picked up from Aldi. Genuinely, like, god-tier picky bit snacks. Um, so I'm going to get them all out and go through them, but, like, she showed us them yesterday, and I was like, oh my god. Like, when she goes through these on the vlog, I'm going to get super excited again. I don't know if she said as well, but um, she did go to Iceland for a few bits. Um, I think most of the picky bits are from Iceland. Actually, now I'm getting them out. Um, I think most of them are from Iceland. I do think for picky bits, God, if you're taking a shot every time I'm saying picky bits, you're probably going to be drunk right now. But I think for them... Them little snacky things that you want to snack on. I would say Iceland is probably the best way to go for it. Oh, these all ones already open. I'll just get them out anyways and show you them for what we've got. Because we have got an array of oh, oh, options. God, it's it's not even like I don't even think it's cold in the house. I'm just inside freezing. But yeah. So she got some mini deep dish pepperoni pizzas. Oh, so yeah, you see, they're three to five pounds, so I can put them together. So then she got the chicken tikka bites and the sticky chicken skewers. She then went with the Cajun chicken bakes. That there isn't really, like, I wouldn't necessarily say that's a picky bit. You could just have that for, like, your dinner or even your tea with some chips. But, you know, we like our food, me and Katie do. So then she went with the eight katsu chicken slides. I genuinely can't wait to try these. I think they will be unbelievable and are they from i think they could be aldi they look like more aldi packaging than iceland iceland's very sort of unique as you'd say there and then the tesco things that we got i think a few weeks ago now the chicken sticks and chicken pops the halloumi fries and then the american inspired selection which was onion rings sweet potato wedges and the fritters which the fritters were actually surprised remember yeah i remember them now the fritters were actually surprisingly really really good um so i'm gonna pop all that away and then i've got a few bits and bobs to show you but yeah like i just want to apologize for not picking you up much tonight uh like i have been on the playstation but i literally got in went in the bath i like got out of the bath feeling worse than i did when i got in it just felt like getting in the bath brought on me nose stuffing up <laughs> or being blocked up. I just really hope it's more what Katie says than a, than um, like a flu because I feel like if it's a flu, I, there's a good chance that I could be unwell for Christmas, <laughs> which obviously nobody wants. Um, but at the same time, I'm not selfish and I wouldn't go around to people's houses and be like, too sad. But yeah, I was always saying, I'm not like selfish enough to go around to people's houses and infect them. As you can see, we did have takeout for day and night, which was really nice. It was what, sometimes though, I think with the takeaway, like when you don't feel great, you think it's like what you need and what you want. And then, like, it just makes you feel worse because it's like, oh, it's so greasy. Not that that place isn't actually greasy, but it's just so, like, fatty and you're like, oh. It sometimes has the effect that you don't want to have. The, and today, the scent of the day, which I've not done yet today, bedtime baby. I'm hoping that this sort of sends us to sleep because I slept like crap last night. And I'm hoping that this, oh, I've just got a little whiff there. It did smell nice. Oh. You might have had you heard it there, but my nose was like making a noise when I was sniffing up. Oh, that's really nice, that. That smells like sort of a bath bomb. That's really nice, that, actually. Oh. 
yeah, really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed yesterday as well, like catching up on all of them. Like weirdly enough, I was just sat there in my element, like, oh, these are unbelievable. But yeah, as I'll I'll always plug these, I think, just Wix. I think it's a great company. And I just think it makes your house house smell nice. And that is just what you want. Also, yesterday we have noticed a bit of a crack in the wall upstairs. I mean, I wouldn't say crack, but kind of would, because I don't know how else you would describe it. You all right? Yeah. But yeah, just there. I mean, it actually looks like, I think it looks a lot worse on the camera because it's on, but because it's just on like a white wall and it's just a black line. But in person, it doesn't look too bad. I'm fairly confident that that wasn't there when before we went away. And me and Katie, as well, Katie pointed out yesterday, it was probably because the house was sat so cold <laughs> for so long. And then we put the heating on. Well, Katie's mum and dad came and put the heating on. On. What day did we get back Monday? It was late Monday. Late, late Monday that they would have put the heating on. Um. So, yeah, I don't know if it's all of that or more just, I think it was more just the cold or it could just be the house settling. But, yeah, a bit of a crack in the wall, which is no good, so we'll have to fill that in. You alright? Oh, did I turn that off when I was on? Boss is raging at us, but, yeah, there's just, so I've gone through that. I've just got a little note of something, like some stuff that I wanted to go through. Um... Also, last thing, if you follow the Instagram, I was just sort of going on the other day about like the lead up to Christmas and how unorganized I currently am. I've still got quite a lot of presents to collect. Well, not collect, but to get. Um, and yeah, just a few last minute bits and like feeling how I'm feeling right now. The last thing I really want to do is be going out. I don't think I have to go too far. And the things that I need to pick up are easy to pick up but yeah it's such a stress christmas when you get older like when you're a kid i find it so much easier because you just have to look forward to getting presents and not getting people presents now i'm older especially at the minute like with with all the like the postal strikes and stuff going on this has been such a stressful time i know i was quite lucky with all the stuff i ordered sort of it was weird it was like in the weird phase of like when they weren't striking and i got lucky and i got all my stuff quite quickly but katie like and my mom like my mom basically got told that a pair of shoes that i'd asked for for christmas and she ordered she basically got told that and this wasn't through the royal mail just to put this out there but she basically got told that they'd been stolen or lost in transit uh, but the chances were that they would have if they didn't arrive they did end up arriving um but they would have been stolen because the depot that they went to was it was like an absolute shambles when um we seen it online it was like there was parcels just left outside it was absolutely horrific if you live in the northeast area you might have sort of seen it um on like facebook and stuff like that because that's how everyone sort of found out Basically, someone just went down to this depot and there was just parcels everywhere, like opened crates. And when people, like some people latch onto it and think that could be my stuff. And then some people will latch onto it and be like, oh, I, like, I could go and steal something here, which isn't obviously the right thing to do. But yeah, just this year in particular has felt so fro like frozen, so, so stressful. And yeah, so tomorrow I'm off Friday. I'm in work. I'm at work tomorrow, hoping to sort of get home, get a few bits ordered, or like be able to go and collect them when I can. So yeah, tomorrow's vlog I'm hoping should be a lot more interesting. I am sorry again. Like I say, I just don't really feel the best. <sighs> so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Remember to like if you did. Get any comments in the comment section down below. The last video that I did was just like a very small q and I'd love to sort of do more Q&A based videos. I love hearing questions or, or anything that you guys have to say. Um, 
But yeah, I did enjoy making the last video, to be fair. And I think you can sort of tell when I, I stand or sit and waffle for ages. Because I am, like, decent at doing that, to be fair. But yeah, if you did enjoy, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll catch you tomorrow.